Hey guys, is there a spot for me in the talk? They bring to the table a lot of success, a lot of years of experience, and, and, and they are walking it out like nobody else. And so I can't wait to hear what Vincent St. Louis is going to share with us this morning. Vincent, are you there? Yes, I am, Ryan. I appreciate you inviting me on the call. Appreciate everybody with words of wisdom, you guys. That's phenomenal. I love getting on these calls and, and learning and, and growing. You know, we're, we come into this business and, and you know, you, you can't get where you're going from where you are. You can't get there from here, so to speak. You've got to change. You've got to grow. you gotta you got to bend yourself and mold yourself into what you want to be. So I want to give you guys a couple of tips really quick. I know time is valuable. Um, I want to give you the seven Ds of this business, of your, of your, your growth and, and aspirations. And the first D is destiny. What is your destiny? I want you to understand something really quick, you guys. If you've got a burning desire in your heart, in your belly, to have success, to go up there on that stage and be introduced as a new black diamond or flipper dipper or whatever the pin level is that you desire, if you've got that burning desire in your, your belly, I want you to tell you right now, God is not a jokester. He did not give you that without giving you everything you need to succeed. Right now, today, you need to get out of your own way, do the work, and let God do the, his job. Your job is to go out there and share this opportunity. So D, destiny. Your destiny is greatness. God doesn't make no joke, no junk. Okay? Next is desire. What is your desire? You need to know this, you guys. Write it down. What is your desire? What do you want out of life? What do you want to become? Where do you want to go? Where, who do you want to influence? You got to have your desire, and you got to have it written down so you can visualize it. You know what? You know how few people actually read their goals every night. It's crazy. Next is your dream. What is your dream? What do you want to accomplish? What do you What are you in this for? What do you, What What really are you doing here? Are you just sitting around warming a seat, or do you have something you want? Do you have desire to become something more? You've got destiny where you want to go. Your dream. Write it down. If you dream to buy a big house, you go out there and drive around and go to open houses of the big, nicest neighborhoods. You go test drive the cars. You know, when we're, when we're running hard, I, the, I used to see the, the security guard at the Mercedes dealership because the last company, they give right away a black Mercedes. And that security guard, he knew me by name. In the middle of the night, 1 o'clock in the morning, I'd be coming home from doing plans. or coming home from Monterey two hours away, and I'd stop by the Mercedes dealership because I had to know. Why was I doing it? It wasn't for the big black car. It was just a, it was just a symbol, you know. And sometimes your, your dream is, is maybe it's not the nice cars and stuff. You know, you'll do more to avoid pain than you will to gain pleasure. You know, I watch the movie Pursuit of Happiness. I don't watch it because of the success he had. Because I look at him in that 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 bus terminal or the train terminal in that bathroom and his foot against the door, and I say, that's a guy that's never going back there again. He will do more to avoid pain than to gain pleasure. You guys, what is your dream? What is it worth to you? What will you do? What will you sacrifice for your dream? Next is decision. Make a decision today that you're going to do everything you can, everything in your power. There's only certain things that you can control, you guys. You can't control whether people get in. You can't control whether they even stay in. You can't control whether they, get, they do anything. I've recruited a ton of people. You know how few people are actually doing anything? And some are out there doing it, but they're not getting the results. And you've got to make a decision today that you're going to do it and do it and do it, which leads me up to the next one is discipline. Are you disciplined? Let me tell you, success and failure are habits. If you set goals for yourself, you set a goal, you're going to show the plan, you're going to show this opportunity with three people a week, and come Friday or Sunday, whatever your week is, and you've only done two, and you allow yourself to not do that last one, it becomes a habit. Failure is a habit, you guys. You've got to become disciplined. Daily discipline is done daily. Build character. You've got to set a goal. You're going to contact X number of people every single week. Not every single six months, not in a year, not even in a month. What are you going to do today, this week? You've got to have a measurable. If you've never showed the plan once, you cannot have a goal that you're going to show the plan ten times. It's just not achievable. Your subconscious mind says, I can't get there because of the past experience of what led you here today. So set reasonable goals, but stretch yourself. But more importantly, make a decision that you will do everything you can to discipline yourself to do the activities that you know you need to do. Next is dedication. Dedicated. Are you dedicated to your life? Are you dedicated to your business, to your dreams, to your goal, to Hope Brokers, to your upline? 
when my upline talks to his upline, you know what I want him to talk about? Me. Not because I'm prideful, not because, I, because I'm doing the work, because I'm out there doing it, because I want to be part of it. When that guy goes across the stage as a black diamond, a real black diamond, I want to know that it was my business, my effort, my determination, my dedication, my dreams, my goals, all that to help him get where he wanted to go. That's, if you, how can you have that? How can you be that or have people doing that for you if you're not willing to do that for your upline? Everybody wants to be, you have people in their, in their team out there building for their business, for their future, but are you that for your guy? You know, I positioned myself with Rob because I wanted to be meaningful. I wanted my business, my volume, my activity, my effort to, to, to inspire somebody, to help move somebody to the next level. Okay, so are you dedicated to your dreams and goals? Next and last D is duplication. Are you duplicating yourself? Are you out there doing the system? Are you trying to reinvent the wheel? The system is there. Look, I, it's the first time in, in my career in a long time that I haven't been the system, and it's so nice. I'm loving it, you guys. Somebody else is doing all the work, and I went on. you know what I'm focus on, focusing on? The main thing. What's the main thing? The main thing is how many times a day is a story being told? How many times a day can I reach out and touch somebody and introduce them to this? Are you duplicating yourself? And if you're not, because you're, you're doing the work, but you're just not reaching duplication, let me tell you, you, you don't curse your activity. Don't curse it. Go out there and do what you have to do because you have a destiny because you have desire, because you have dreams, because you made a decision, and because you're disciplined and you're dedicated and you will duplicate yourself. So my name is Vince St. Louis. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, blessed, and prosperous rest of your day. Boom. And as the saying goes, mic drop. Vincent, that was amazing. That's exactly how we're going to wrap the call up. Nothing we can add to that. Phenomenal. There's no surprise why you and Carrie are building one of the biggest businesses in all of us, AO. My goodness, thank you for blessing all of us, each and every one of our guests this morning. Thank you. Thank you.